Hey guys, and welcome back with me, NG Paradox, where we've taken the managerial reins of the United States team, otherwise known as Team USA for their nickname. I mean, not not the most imaginative thing, but then again, I mean, it's hard to think of, of a, an interesting nickname that people can identify with. It, it's not a really easy thing to do, so I can't really blame them for that. But here we are for our first live commentary, our first competitive game in the North American qualifying. Now for this series we're going to play in every single game as a live commentary because in international football you don't tend to have many games and we're going to include the friendlies into that so that way we can see what tactics work, what players are working out and maybe what players are not working out. I've been looking through the players in the national pool and stuff and scouting. There's actually quite a lot of interesting young American players who could potentially be good it's just kind of hard to tell and the new season has not begun yet so I've not really had a chance to get what players are playing well at their respective clubs and how often they're playing you know I like to pick players that are in form that's what I like to do because they deserve to take the step up so you'll notice for this first match I've not made many changes because I've not seen how players perform in Football Manager for America but we'll see how things go and we'll see maybe where we need to make some changes. Um, the first game, though, will be against Honduras. Uh, Honduras obviously are ranked 77th in the world. But there are some names here that people might recognize. So it's definitely not a team you should take lightly. But we should be beating them, really. America is ranked much higher than them. We should have the players able to defeat them. For example, I do know... Uh, I, I can't pronounce... I'm going to destroy every name I come across in this series. Uh, Figoro. Um, I do recognize him from the Premier League. He's 33 years old now, but 144 caps. That is a lot of caps. Yeah, he used to play for, like, Wigan and was at Hull for a little bit. Never seemed too bad, actually, I remember. Now he's playing in the MLS, and he did get quite a lot of games last season. So he's obviously still got it, I guess. So we definitely can't take them too lightly. But we obviously want to try and win this game. We're currently ranked 18th in the world. Um, and we didn't do anything. We didn't play a game. And we've gone up four places. That's great. <laughs> we haven't done anything about it. But we've gone up in the world rankings. Costa Rica went down, sadly for them. And Mexico went down by one place, being replaced by England. Uh, sorry about that, Mexico. So that's good for us. We're ranked highly. But we need to make sure we perform to kind of represent our ranking. So this is a game we're going to have to be winning, of course. If we have a quick look at the competition at the moment, the game has already played two games. So as I started, we already had two games played. We won those two games. So did Mexico. Honduras did win one of their games. So they're not doing too badly, but it's only been two games. We have no idea what's going to happen. If we have a quick look at the fixtures, though, we've got Mexico up next. Then we've got friendlies against Russia, which should be interesting because it's their World Cup, so they'll definitely be there. Costa Rica? I don't know why we were friendly against Costa Rica, because after that, we play Costa Rica. I, <laughs> I mean, why? Why? Are we playing them so we can see their tactics, but then also show our tactics? I, I don't know who did this. I don't know. I'm going to assume that's not the real friendlies they did in real life. Or probably the fixtures of a mix. I did say before that the North American qualifying is completely messed up and random every time. So it could be the games are also random, most likely. Uh, then Trinidad, then Panama, then Costa Rica, Honduras, and Mexico. So we've only got to play Panama once and Trinidad. So we've played these two teams technically already. And they are kind of the... I would say they're probably the two bottom teams. I would say... Honduras and Costa Rica are probably better than both of them. That would just be my takeaway from what I've seen of these teams, ranking-wise. Trinidad is about the same as Honduras, actually. And Panama is actually better than both of them. So maybe I'm underestimating Panama right now. But I don't know many players from Panama, so that's kind of my problem right there. So we've only got to play those two games once, because we've already beaten them both, apparently, based upon the game. But today, we have a live commentary against Honduras. How will it go? Hopefully we can get a win and continue our road to the World Cup. But let's have a look at the team and the players I've brought in for this match. Now, 
This is what we're going to be using today. You might have noticed not much has changed from the team that they gave me. I did say last time they kind of gave me a team. That's the ones you kind of start with. You can just change it how you want. Now, the reason it's not changed much is because I wanted to see how players did in their own club matches. I say I like to pick players based on their form, how well they're playing, and the difficulty of the league they're in, of course. But there hasn't been any games. Um, the new season for the MLS has not begun. And I don't think maybe the games in Europe are played, possibly, because, you know, those technically they start in, you know, August in Europe. So maybe the game doesn't count them. I never usually start this early, so I don't know how it works with those games in the rest of Europe. Yeah, it looks as though they don't actually play games. But I have brought in some new faces, mostly as backup ones, because I want to see how they do. Some good young players. Like I said, I have seen a lot of good young players in the American national pool and in scouting. It's just I want to see how well they play for their respective clubs to see if they're ready to take the step to the national team. This is what we're going with today for this match. We're going to play control. I'm not really going to put any particular tactics in. I want to see how well the team play. Um, and then maybe base our tactics around how well they do, which players maybe are the ones who are more significant than others, etc. But up front, we're going to go with Aaron Johansson. I did say I felt the striking position was slightly weak in America. There are none that are the obvious standout striker for the American team. And for me personally, none of the three we have are that great. Johansson might look... Maybe scouting-wise, you know, the, the coaches think maybe he's the weakest out of the three, but I think it'd be really good for our formation. we got a lot of midfielders going kind of the, the, the upper third of midfield, so maybe he doesn't need to be able to create as many goals as possible. He just needs to get the ball to him and score. So he's got good finishing. He's got good first touch. He's got better composure than I think the other two, but he's also still quick. He's not the fastest, but he's still not that slow. So I think he might be just what we need for our striker. So I'm going to go with him, actually, which might surprise some people. Uh, Fabian Johnson, of course, on the left wing. He's one of the most important players for the American team, apparently. Seems okay. I'm going to see how well he does, obviously, and we'll see how things change. This is all about getting ready for the World Cup, really. So that's why you might have some players in it. Maybe you personally don't think of that good, but these are ones that I want to check. I want to see how well they play on the game. We've got up here in attacking midfield, Darlington Nagby. Now, the reason he's playing is because Dempsey is injured for one or two days. I would change the formation because of that, but because this team's not familiar with this formation, and I want Dempsey to play, I'm going to keep playing this formation so they can get used to it, and when Dempsey comes in, they should be more prepared for him. So Nagby is very quick. He's a good, quick player. He's got good dribbling, first touch. He just needs to pass the ball to Johansson or something uh, and be good between these two kind of wingers. Uh, Pulisic, of course, we want to try and play him a lot. We want him to get better. We want to have more experience. He's 18 years old. I want to see him at the World Cup. So he's going to play him with more of an attacking role because Dempsey is not here. Dempsey would normally be the attacker supporting the striker, but he's not here. So Pulisic is going to try and take over that role. Um, we're going to use McKenney as our midfield, so I really like him. I don't know how well he's regarded by American fans because he has no caps at all. So this will be his first cap, but I really want to play him. I think he's like a young Bradley. Um, he could even be better than Bradley, potentially, in the future. So I really want to play him. I want to see what he can do, and hopefully he can perform, because I think even with his numbers there, he can still perform well for the team. And with Bradley there to kind of back him up, he should be good to go. So I'm going to try and use these two, you know, uh, more experienced midfielder with the very young midfielder. Maybe some of you might think he's too young. Maybe you guys think there's some better midfielders. But, you know, I know a lot of people... And I always hear a lot of people talk about Jeff Cameron with America, but I never rated Jeff Cameron that much. Looking at the numbers there, he doesn't look too bad. But I'd rather use that young guy just because I've never been impressed of him at Stoke personally. Um, so I don't really want to use him. I'd rather use McKenney for now. Uh, we're going to use Castillo on the left back just because there's a few left backs I'm looking at as well. This is something I've noticed. A lot of the defenders, especially with the centre backs, um, there's a lot of players seem to be about as good as each other. So I would normally pick based upon their club 
performances, but we haven't had that just yet. I don't know all of the different players, so I want to just keep him for now, and we'll see how the other left-backs do in their clubs, and we'll see if that will change. But for now, he's going to stick in the team. He seems okay. He seems like the things that I want in a left-back, you know, marking, tackling, dribbling, crossing, uh, good intellect, you know, strength maybe. That's the only thing I'm kind of off about, but should be okay. Um, we're using Gonzalez as our centre-back again because lots of centre-backs seem to be, to be about as good as each other, but at least he has good work rate. So I kind of like that. Um, he's got good strength and jump and reach and heading. So I like those together as well. And I think it pairs better with Brooks because Brooks does not have good work rate. So I feel like it goes a bit better with him. And also Brooks is not as good at heading, but he's better at marking and tackling. So I feel like those who just go well together compared to the other defenders... Yedlin, I am going to give an opportunity at right back there because I do want to see how well he does due to the fact that he is obviously very fast. He could be very supportive of Pulisic on the right there. Um, sorry, yeah, the, the right there. So let's see how well he does. Um, I do have some backups I've brought in who are quite new. Um, some of the others are the same that were there from last part. But we've got like, Timothy Chandler here. Now... I'm not completely sure on him. He's only 26. He does have some appearances, but he has got stats while I like them for, again, a, a right back. He's got tackling, marking, crossing. He's fast as well, but he also has a little bit of strength there, good work rate. Um, so I don't think he'd be too bad. He could be a good backup. We'll see. Maybe he'll replace Yedlin. If I'm not impressed by him, Chandler could come in. But again, this whole team is open to complete changes over the next few months based upon how players perform for their clubs. You know, if a player like Chandler is not playing for his team, or as a player for another club who's playing really well, and about the same how I think in how good they are, I'm obviously going to replace him. Um, but this is just kind of what I'm putting in for now. Um, Hindman, I've also brought into the team. He's only 20 years old. He's another young midfielder, but I think he's pretty good and could develop to be even better. Currently, he plays in the Premier League. He plays at Bournemouth. He's not really done much for them, but he's not really played that many games. But I think there's definitely potential there. That I think I've seen him play for Bournemouth in the game. So Bournemouth might actually play him, possibly. I'm not sure, but I quite like him. Also, another winger I brought in, uh, Paul Ariola. I like the fact that he's got really good crossing and dribbling and first touch. Really high stats across the board there. Physicals could be better, though. That's why he's not in the first team. Uh, plays at DC United, seemed to play quite a lot of games in the Mexico team, and he was bought for, you know, 2.3 million. So maybe DC United plan to use him. I'm not sure. I say we'll see how well he does in the league. Um, other than that, it's all the same of what you'd expect. Yeah, we're using Brad Guzman ahead of uh, Tim Howard. So this is what I'm going with right now. I'd love to know what you guys think. I say good and bad, I'm sure. Some American fans are probably like, oh my god, why is he using these players? These players are terrible. But like I said, I just looked through. There's so many players, though, in the American team that are about as good as each other. It's really difficult to choose. So I need to wait until we actually get to the actual starting to play in the league so we can see how well they play. But here we go. Mexico against Panama. Costa Rica against Trinidad. And we're against Honduras. Really want to win this game. We're kind of using just some tests here. Want to see these players perform, and which ones don't perform will be dropped, which ones do perform will continue to use. So this is kind of a big game for all of them. New manager, they have to impress, and we'll see what they can do. Honduras going for the, you know, the classic 4-4-2. They must be being managed by a, an English manager, I guess, for now. Michael Bradley is our captain. Really looking forward to seeing what McKenna can do. That's kind of my favorite pick, just because the fact he has not had any cap so he's obviously not been supported by any american manager in the past so i'm kind of glad that i'm going to give him maybe his first appearances um uh we're favorites for a reason yeah we're favorites for a reason go out there make sure no one has any doubt about why um extended highlights perfect we'll click that up and i got that two there we go perfect and the tunnel you're about to take charge of your first match as united states manager can you sum up your feelings on this occasion? Um, yeah, it's a special day. I can't wait to get started and take this team to the World Cup. We're, we're not going to get the World Cup now, are we? Now that I've said that, <laughs> it's just going to go all down here for, downhill from here. 
Here we go. Lozano gets the ball to... Was it Jonna? But that was a pretty good shot right there. Try to test our goalkeeper, Guzan. Guzan? Guzan? Gazan? I'm not sure to pronounce it. I'm, like I say, I'm going to destroy names in this series, so I really do apologize. Um, but I, like I always say, that's the great thing about football. You do see so many different names. Here they go with a corner. Looks like we managed to get it out, but they're going to come and bring the ball back in. And Palicios just kind of got the... He kind of slid into the ball. Not sure what he was doing there. Um, not sure what he was trying to do at all. Another corner, though, to Honduras. We managed to stop the ball there. Brooks managed to stop it. We both had one shot on target. We're not getting much possession. And this is at home. So we obviously need to perform at home. Escobar is going to do a goal kick. There we go. Good head there by Castillo. Nagby to Bradley. Bradley kicks the ball up to no one. Bradley, come on, you're the captain. Communication. You can't just give the ball away. Honduras are going to make you pay for that. Come on, guys. Use your intelligence here. If only Dem Dempsey would tell them what to do, wouldn't he? He would, have, he would have their ears if he saw that. Then again, he's not the captain. Bradley is, so. You know, Bradley should really be doing that. I hope he does it against himself. 25 minutes in, not impressed. Um, not impressed so far with what we've done. Okay, Bradley gets the ball again. Pulisic gets the ball to Johansson. Johansson is surrounded by players, but just loses the ball. Doesn't think about passing it back or anything. Lozano, and a good save there by Guzan. Easily could have made a mistake there. Wasn't the best of shots, though, so he really should have been saving it. Another corner for Honduras. Oh, sorry, third corner. And another good attempt there, but it wasn't meant to be. Looks like one of them was offside. They've had five shots and two on target now. We've only had two shots. Come on, let's go attacking. Let's try to change for attacking. Let's try to get in there. Break them down. They've only got four in the midfield. We really should have been controlling that game. Seeing as technically we have five in midfield. Obviously three on the more, you know, the third. The attack in third, but still. Still more players in midfield. We should still be controlling that. And uh, nothing happening right now. A yellow card, though, for Espinosa. So that could be good. We could try and get him a red card. We got seven minutes left of the first half, and it's not looking good. Honduras have definitely looked like the better team so far, but a free kick for Pulisic. Good ball in there. Nagby, and Nagby scores. Darlington Nagby. Brought in, basically, as the substitute for Dempsey. I wasn't that sure about him, but he definitely seems to have the know-how there. Good little free kick there by Pulisic. Gonzalez just heads it down to Nagby. See, that is teamwork. That is teamwork right there. That's what I wanted to see. Okay, now, should we go back on our attack? I don't know. If we keep going attack, we might open ourselves up a bit more. But very happy with Nagby there. Pulisic obviously gave a good free kick. And Gonzalez gave a good head. I need to re remember all this so I can make sure I remember which players have been performing well for us. Because this is important. It's important to remember this. Okay, very good job so far. We brought it back. It's basically even at the moment. It's, yeah, it's basically the same so far. Nagby, of course, the best performer. Johansson, the worst performance. Maybe he wasn't the best choice for striker. Maybe I made a mistake on the calculations. I know you're capable of even better, guys. Come on. You may be winning, but you got to do even better. Castillo gets the ball to McKenney. Bradley. Johansson. Back to McKenney. McKenney gets the ball to Johnson. Did he kick it too far? Mm. Maybe McKenney. Maybe he's a bit young. Maybe he just doesn't have that experience. Kicked it a bit too far right there for Bradley Johnson to be able to get. Can't really blame Johnson for that. Not at all. Then again, I've not seen Johnson do anything this game. So, I can blame him for that. And I will. I will blame him for that. 6.3 rating. Hmm. I think we know we're going to make some changes. Martinez, though, for Honduras. Gets the ball into the midfield. Ooh. Yed I've noticed Yedlin right there. Managed to get the tackle there. Though he does have a yellow card, so we might have to be careful with him. Maybe I should take him off. We don't want him to get a red card. Okay, Honduras still the ball. Martinez 
gets the ball up. Can he beat his man? Quato gets the ball in the center. And was that Jonna? I, I never see his name. Yeah, Jonna. He hits her over the bar. Luckily for us. Let's go control. Um, control wasn't really working for us before, but it looks as though attacking is not working for us right now. I feel like Honduras have changed their tactics a bit, possibly. Okay, Najar gets up to Jonna. Jonna get the ball in the center, but he hits it way, way too over. Martinez, though, gets it to Najar, and Najar has scored. I just changed control. <sighs> okay, so Najar gets the equalizer there. Not good enough. Not good enough at all. We're letting them kind of just boss the ball around. We're giving them opportunities at the moment. Maybe McKenney's not able to hold the midfield like I'd like them to right now. Castillo to Nagby was not good at all. It's just every just a mistake every so often by someone. And Honduras are doing the same, but they're punishing us. Ooh, Jonna could have got the winner right there. I think I'm going to have to make some changes now because... I've just not been impressed by certain players. Uh, Bradley almost lost the ball there. McKenny, McKenny, you slammed it into your own player. You hit it into another American player. What are you doing? Okay, let's make some changes here. Obviously, the striker's not working. Let's give a chance to Bobby Wood. We'll go. We'll go a poacher for now. We'll keep that. Johnson, I do want to change as well. So him and Pulisic are going to swap around, and we'll do that. And we'll bring Arreola on for him. And uh, that will become support. I want to give him a chance. I want to see how he can do. Now, McKenney's not having a good game either. But I feel like the defense has not been good either. And Yedlin does have a yellow card. So I probably should change him. Yeah, let's change him then. I do feel McKenney should be changed. But I feel like those two should have been changed more than him. He's got a yellow card. Um, he wasn't playing that well either, so the defense needed to have a change anyway. So you know what? This works out quite nicely. Let's give Chandler a chance to come on and show me what he can do. The new manager, you know, anything can happen. Bounced off the head of Najar. Uh, Wood now just came on. I mean, that was better than anything Johansson has done the entire game. So <laughs> uh, I guess, uh, yeah, that was, that was, I guess, better. Good job, Bobby Wood. Good job. Um, but a free kick now for Honduras. Najar, okay, good tackle there. We needed to tackle him. Najar obviously helped to get that goal. He's a good player, it looks like. Najar gets the ball to Hernandez. Gets the ball to Cuyoto. And we kick it back up. Bobby Wood manages to steal the ball there. Pulisic, Pulisic, can he? <clears throat> Pulisic could not be the hero we needed right there. But Ariola, terrible, terrible corner. Ariola, I just brought you on. You need to perform. I've given you a great opportunity. You were not in the starting team when I got here. Should have been a goal there, really. Um, but I've given you a chance, Ariola. I've given you a chance. You weren't in the starting team when I got here. I brought you in to give you a chance. You need to show me what you can do. We've got about 18 minutes to go. It seems it could go either way right now. Nagby gets the ball to Pulisic. Pulisic surrounded by a few players, though, couldn't hold on to it. Ah, oh, now Honduras have the ball. Looks like they're coming in for the counter. Espino. Oh, okay. They made a mistake there. McKenney, the Bradley. Oh, are you kidding me, Bradley? What is with that, Brad? Your passes have been just, just dreadful today. Almost led to a goal. The midfield. Okay. Midfield needs a change. Maybe when Dempsey's not playing, we shouldn't play with attacking midfielder. Maybe we should be playing with a defensive midfielder. Someone to back up the two midfielders. Because Bradley's passes have not been good. McKenna has se McKenna has seemed a bit shaky as well. Not been able to hold the ball as well as I'd have hoped. So I think definitely... So we're definitely learning things, and that's what's important. <laughs> that's what's important about this. Bradley, though, passing McKenna. Oh, McKenna. Come on. Castillo. Okay. Run on to it. Run on. Chase him. Chase him down. Chase those Honduras players down. Damn. Okay. Najar does a good pass there. Quato. Quato almost, almost getting it past the goalkeeper. Guzan able though to just deflect it, but it's gone for a corner. Martinez. I'm surprised we haven't let in a corner so far because there's been quite a few of them. Bradley with a good tackle. I mean, that is what he's good at, but still. Um, 
Not a good... What is with these passes? Martinez, ball in. Another corner, saved. Najala keeps the ball. Wow. And Chandler saved the day there as well. Chandler, good move. You know what? You got points from me today. Um, two minutes left, though. Going to draw against Honduras. Not really what I had in mind today when we started this. Not at all. Pulisic. He's going to pull forward. Pulisic, be the hero we deserve. Wood, no! Wood. Couldn't hold on the ball. Good tackle. I have to give that. You know, he tackled from behind, but he got the ball. Nagby. Nagby. You got the goal, but I've not seen much else from you so far. Okay. Nagby, come on, run onto the ball. Show some energy, guys. Nagby again. Wood. Wood. Pulisic. Pulisic. Okay. I can definitely see some ways we can improve. So that's good. We've definitely seen good things and bad things today. Wait, what good things? <laughs> no, I'm joking. Defensively, it hasn't gone that badly. There's been some really good tackles by defenders. Wood Bradley, and Bradley scores. Wow, what a turnaround there by Michael Bradley. I mean, I wasn't impressed with him at all this game. He's been good at tackling, but his passes have been dreadful. But he saves the day and gets the goal. I mean, Bradley, Brad, what am I going to do with you, Bradley? What do I have to think about you? I mean, I, I, he is the captain after all. And he did just save the day. I think we have to try, we're going to have to back up that midfield a bit, I think. Um, wing wise, it seemed okay, but a few mistakes. Striker-wise, like I said before, is definitely a weak point. Uh, Johansson is probably not as good as I looked from the stats, sadly. So we're definitely maybe we we'll use Altador. Maybe we will use Altador. Maybe he's good in the game and just not for Sunderland, you know? Well done. That, that was a good win. That's a bit of a let-off. Yeah, there's a bit of a let-off. You're going to have to step it up against better opposition. And thankfully, they've shown good character and they look fired up. That is good to see. I'm happy to see... That they're ready and they know that they face bigger opponents. They have to perform better. Trinidad drew with Costa Rica and Mexico beat Panama 3-0. But there we go. We rise off to see Honduras. Really, that was a pretty even game. And Honduras, I think, had the better chances. So, yeah. But definitely some things we need to think about. I think the formation maybe is not best. Maybe we should play with a defensive uh, midfielder, possibly, because... You know, Bradley and stuff can play that position. I think McKenney can as well. So we do have lots of players that play. Jeff Cameron, of course, could come into the team then in that position. I think I might use Hindman, McKenney. I don't know. I like quite a lot of the young players in the American uh, national pool. And Nagby could just stay as like a winger for now. The thing is, though, when Clint Dempsey comes back, I want to use him as attacking midfielder. But I guess if he does get too old and his pace is. Has that, that gone down from from eight to seven i don't know we'll see how things go but right now definitely things we need to think about defensively i think they did well to hold them off we saw some good tackles there guzan didn't play too badly but you definitely need to attack in front the creativity think about it one goal came from bradley our midfielder and the other goal came from a free kick so the creativity up front was not good so definitely johansson i think is going to be dropped Johnson, I was not impressed with at all. Not at all. Which makes me think maybe we should just go for the wing-back thing and play Pulisic and Clint Dempsey as our attack in midfield. But I can use one at a time. I guess we could try and play with two of them. We'll see. We'll see. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to go now. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you'll return for our next game, which will be against Mexico. This will be a big game. Mexico, obviously, are a tough team. Uh, ranked higher than us, so technically... People might expect them to beat us, but hopefully we can pull it off and beat them. Continue on our goal to make the World Cup. And hopefully by the time we get to the World Cup, we can have created a formation, a tactic and players that work for us. That's what I want to have. So, okay, these qualifying games, there's going to be a lot of, I think, changing possibly, a lot of difference in tactics, a lot of new players probably coming in based upon, based upon their form. So you might see a lot of changes from now until the end of qualifying, but... I've been Andrew Paradox, and I'll see you next time. See ya.
And remember, Team America, fuck yeah.